Hello, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite Living Word. Today our word is going to come from 2 Peter chapter 2. Uh, we got the end of the chapter there. We'll pick it up at verse 19. Um, actually, you know what? This, uh, yeah, we'll pick it up at verse 19. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse uh, 19, but uh, really even the verses preceding that are speaking about those uh, false teachers who would come in the end times and how so many would be led away or led astray by them and the warnings thereof. But then he also says something that I think is so stark in uh, contrast that it's important for us to recognize, even in our own lives as children of God, that we don't get deceived by the uh, promises or the faults or empty vanities of this world. So, because that's what he really talks about all, all up until verse 19. And then he says this in verse 19. He says, While they promised them liberty... They themselves are servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, the same is brought in bondage. And isn't this the truth? They're promising us, ban they're prom promising people liberties, you know. And I hear so many people talking about, you know, hey, I should be free to be able to do this. I should be able to do this. I da, 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 da. And particularly here in America, obviously, guys, uh, where we do do enjoy some beautiful freedoms. But the point of the matter is, is that freedom can become a bondage. When it becomes so important to you to hold on to that freedom that you would for sacrifice your servanthood to Christ, your obedience to Christ, it can actually become a bondage. Now, you chew on that on yourself a little bit because that's not what I want to focus on. Rather than that, what I want to look at is the warning he gives next. Verse 20 he says, for, after, <clears throat> excuse me, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the pollutions of the world. See, that's the problem. So many of us are polluted by the world. And we don't recognize we can escape those through Jesus Christ. And if we have escaped those, he says, they are again entangled therein and overcome, and the latter end is worse than the, to, with them than the beginning. I would honestly say that this has been probably one of the biggest things I've noticed in a lot of my brothers and sisters in Christ during this time, is that we had escaped the pollutions of this world. But then we got entangled again with the pollutions of the world because we allowed the world to enter into our churches. We allowed the world to enter into our hearts. We allowed the world to enter into our lives. So the, the things of the world became more important to us than the things of Christ. And then what happens? When we lose those things, those freedoms and uh, comforts of the world, we're entangled. We're in bondage. We're all upset and up in arms and throwing a fit. <sighs> But then he says in verse 21, For it had been better for them to have not to have known the way of righteousness than that they have known it and turned a holy commandment delivered unto them. Point of the matter is, it's better, better, honestly better off to be somebody who never knew Jesus than to be somebody who knew Jesus, turned away from Jesus to the things of the world, and then tried to turn back because now you're in this constant conflict and battle. And then he gives this horrible, horrible example of what that looks like. It says, but it has happened unto them, according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Think about that image. The dog has returned to his own vomit again. The stuff that was not good for us, that, that's what vomit does, right? Your body's getting the stuff that is not good for you. The stuff that wasn't good for you, you've turned back to again. Why? Well, because I'm comfortable with that. I like it. It's, you know, whatever the case may be. I, I like it. It makes me happy. It makes me fulfilled. You know, no. The things that aren't good for us that God has been <laughs> working on <coughs> expelling from us all, we should not have no desire to turn back to. What the, the, the sow is washed in the walling and the mire again. Get it all clean, right back to the same mud. This is the point. We need to turn away from the vomit, the things that God has taken out of our lives, and turn only unto Him. We need to turn away from the filthiness of this life and this world and turn only unto Him. That we might not be eating vomit and that we might not be wallowing in the mud. And that's only going to come when we turn away from the vain philosophies, the empty teachings of this world, of this life, and the true, rich servanthood. Of Jesus Christ. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.